Hi everyone. If you're new here, I'm Natalie. If you're not, welcome back. Today is October 23rd and I am leaving to LA on Friday. Today's Monday. So I technically only have three more days to finish getting ready and preparing and everything and this hair has to go. So it's like very very light in the front. I've been washing it with like head and shoulders and stuff but at the bottom it's very dark still. It looks darker on camera than it does in person. But we have been washing my hair literally every single day so that this hair color could come out. And it's been working really good in the front. It's just... And on the top, I guess. It's just like in the back area where, and in the bottom area that it's still kind of really dark. So we're going to wash our hair again today. But I do want to recut it just a little bit more, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's because I feel like it grew out a little bit longer i don't know I, I i really want it up to my shoulders but then i know i'm not gonna be able to curl it for my sister's 15. so i don't know i think we'll see and then i did just order on um rapi which is like kind of like uber eats here i ordered some hair dye two colors of hair dye and yeah so we're gonna do that today too so today what we're gonna do i did film yesterday a little clip but it wasn't me whitening my teeth i'm gonna be doing this every day before i leave just because i really want my teeth to be whitened i don't know if i'm gonna do my dye my hair today or until thursday um just because i really want this color to be as light as possible and i don't want to like add any bleach on it or anything like that i don't want to strip the color anymore because i'm just working with what i got and this hair color is it lasted a really long time you guys and i'll put a picture of the the type of hair dye that i use which and i didn't use it with anything else i just used that by itself i bought two little bottles and that worked amazing so that was perfect for me but basically that hair color lasted a really long time and everyone was always like no it's gonna fade really quickly um fantasy colors normally tend to fade really quickly but that one lasted a really long time like i dyed it i think it was like at the end of september like almost the end of september and we're like almost at the end of october and i'm still struggling to take this color off like if i would have continued washing it every other day how i normally do it would have lasted a lot longer and if i wouldn't have used head and shoulders for this it would have lasted a lot longer but yeah that's a little trick for you guys if you guys want to strip your hair without leaving it too too dry or too anything or like too brittle i always do this whenever i want to transition hair colors at home and not at a salon i wash my hair with any dandruff shampoo or clarifying shampoo those help a lot so yeah that's what i do and since i'm letting my hair grow out i don't want to like retouch anything up here just because i want all this to grow out on its own and i'm so excited to change this color but i don't know if i'm going to do that today in like this part of the video but we're also going to be changing these because i did these a little while ago and they already grew out and i do want them a little longer for the party and i want them to be on theme with the party so we're gonna do that today too we're gonna take these off and then we're gonna apply the new ones this coffee is so good i made it yesterday and it was just sitting in the fridge i had forgotten about it i've just been rambling on about the things that i'm planning on doing but i never really said what this video is going to be about even though you guys can read it by the title but this video is basically me prepping for my trip before i leave i'm leaving on friday at 4 a.m and then i'm coming back on monday i'm not sure what time yet but on monday which is my sister's actual birthday is on monday which is the 30th so they're having it this weekend and yeah you guys we're gonna go ahead and do that i literally have all my suitcases like filled with clothes like winter clothes and i do need to take all of that out soon because starting next week it's going to start getting on the fresher side it's going to be in the 70s here finally right now we're finally getting down to the 80s which i'm so excited about because i hate this 100 degree weather like <laughs> it's october and it was 100 degrees like what is this you know but and i hope the weather starts to calm down as well because i really really like it when it's cold i'm gonna go ahead and take a quick shower Alrighty guys, so I just took a shower and I already received my two hair colors that I'm going to be doing. And my fingers are all stained because I just did two test strands on my hair. Where is it? 
like for the two different colors and I really like them and I think that it's gonna work out like perfectly so this is the orange color these are two colors I'm gonna be doing and this is the orange and I wanted to see what it would look like on top of this colored hair which is why I did the little test strands but this is the orange color and then I did a little red down here because my little sister was telling me that I should do like a little peekaboo moment so I'm gonna do half of my head the bottom half is gonna be red and the top half is gonna be orange so this is the red and I just love these colors it's so vibrant I didn't think the red was gonna be this vibrant because of the picture it didn't show that it was that vibrant so now my fingers are stained and it looks like I just ate chips but actually I'm not ready my, my fingers are too red to look like I just ate chips but basically my test strands are done now i know that i really do like the hair co the colors and i know that it's gonna look good and i did do it on more of the back side because the back side is the co the part where my hair is a little bit darker like the pink is a little bit darker so i did do it in the back just to see that the color was gonna cover up the pink and everything and then when i bought these they gave me these for free which are basically just 20 volume developers and i guess i was gonna just use conditioner but I guess we're going to use these because, yeah, they gave it to us, so perfect. <laughs> we're going to actually dye my hair tomorrow because it's now 6.58 and I did do my toes earlier, so my toes are done. I basically just did black Frenchies on the big toe and the, the little toes are all um, red Frenchies because my nails are going to be red bottomed and then black Frenchie on top with, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do like a shimmery color mixed in with the black or maybe just like the regular glossy top I'm not sure just yet uh, but yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing for my nails tomorrow because tomorrow I have a appointment for this girl I'm gonna do her nails at 10 in the morning so I want to do her nails first as I have my little ones and then we're gonna do my nails afterwards and then I have the rest of the week off so we're gonna do that and yeah I'm basically that's gonna be done for tomorrow um, so this is it for today basically I, I know I didn't really feel much but I did just do my toes and then I just redid my whitening lights and and then I just took a shower and I did my test strand so now I know that everything is good to go so that's gonna be the end of today and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm doing my nails and my hair alrighty you guys I don't know why I woke up with this freaking pimple on my chin I think maybe I'm gonna get my period and then I got this one but I popped it already so but I don't, I, this one's not like, it's like just a red mark. I don't know, whatever. But basically, I have my two little mixing bowls here. I can't find my little like application brush for my hair color. I, I had two and now I don't know where they are. I have no clue. But whatever is, we're gonna do this and then we're gonna use our hands. Thankfully though, I do have this pack of vinyl gloves. So we're gonna be using some gloves to apply that. And then I'm going to be mixing obviously the peroxide with each of the hair colors in the separate bowls and we're going to get to doing that. I'm going to split my hair really quickly and then we're going to do that. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to get started. And um, I'll be back once I have it all in my hair. I'm also on the phone with my little sister. <laughs> um, she just muted herself so she wouldn't, like, you guys wouldn't hear her. But I'm on the phone with my little sister. She's, like, making faces at me because of how, how weird I am. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And then I will get back to, well, I'm going to do a little time lapse of me applying it. But I will talk to you guys again once I have everything in my hair. The way you started, you're like, okay, guys, I don't know why I woke up with this pimple. I'm going to put my period. <laughs> <laughs>
Alrighty guys, so meanwhile the timer for this is still going. I literally just put it, it hasn't been that long. I just want to wash my hands. And I just want to say really quickly, be super careful where fantasy colors touch your skin. Because I have this like really red rash. I, it doesn't really see, you can't really see it through like the camera as far as me seeing it on the viewfinder. But it looks really red in person and it hurts. Well not hurts, but like itches. So just be really, really careful where you apply that and like be careful as it gets on your skin i was really nervous because after i took this off i was nervous that my neck was gonna be really red as well but thankfully it isn't but yeah so meanwhile this is sitting in here and before we wash it out we are going to go ahead and wash out the little bowl just so that it can be nice and clean and not stained super super badly and then that's going to be put away separately from everything else because that is going to be my designated mixing bowl from now on and i'm going to start doing the red hair color too just to kind of have that prepared but i am going to take this out first and then just kind of pick it up before i completely blow dry it and everything and then rinse out everything else so we're going to go ahead and wash that bowl really quickly all right guys i just took out the hair dye of here and it looks amazing but I want you guys to see it once it's all dried and styled so it's still up here in a little bun you can kind of see the color right there it's really really bright and I love it but now we're gonna go ahead and get to this bottom part I do have the red all mixed up already so we're gonna go ahead and put on my gloves one more time and start doing my hair Okay guys, I just made a huge, huge mess all over my floor and now it's stained orange, yellow, reddish. And I am all freaking stained too, my legs too. So I'm gonna go rinse this off of my body because it's it's, it's stinging. So we're gonna go do this, I'll be back. Alrighty guys, so I just got out of the shower. I put on this black shirt because I don't wanna stain any other shirts with the red. And it's a good thing I still have the black sheets on my bed because it, it was a bloodbath. <laughs> It was so bad. It looked like I was in a murder scene. And then I just could not get, like I took almost everything else off. The parts of my face too was just a little bit up here. And then the back is like really stained as well. And I think over here a little bit too. So I have like that on my body, but that's like the only thing. And then apart from my nails, but these are coming off in, in a little bit. And everything else, everything else on my body, like I had stained myself all right here and everything. I was able to take off, which is like good. It's just like the back part, which will be covered with my hair anyways. So that's okay. I still have to whiten my teeth, which I'll do in a second. But I want to do this first and show you guys first. I'm so excited to see what it's going to look like because I haven't, I haven't seen it either. I just dried it and picked it up into this black towel. <laughs> because I didn't want to see it. I could see the little bit of red popping up right there. But let's go ahead and see it. The time currently is 7.09. My boyfriend doesn't get home until 1, as you guys know. So I still have a ton of time to be able to do my nails, which I'm really, really excited for. So let me go ahead and take this off just now so we can go ahead and blow dry it. Oh my god. This is by far the brightest freaking color I have ever done and I absolutely love this orange. On camera it looks extremely bright but in person it doesn't look that bright. I mean, I think maybe when I dry it a little bit right now it'll look a little brighter but I'm in love with this orange you guys this orange is so good it looks like kind of like rusty orange which is cool and then the red is peeping through which I wanted just to look like that like if it was just peeping through and not really in like my hair so I, I'm in love with this we're gonna go ahead and dry it and then I'll be back once I'm done drying it so I don't bore you guys with too many time lapses alrighty guys I am just finished with my hair and i love it so much you guys it looks so good all right are you ready are you ready for this ready three two one you guys i absolutely love how my hair looks
I feel like it looks so bright on the viewfinder, but in person it just doesn't look this bad. This like bright, I, I promise. But, oh my god, I love it so much. Let me show you guys from the back. I love it so much, you guys. Like the orange, I feel like it doesn't look too bright. It looks very, uh, kind of more coppery on the coppery side, but it is obviously very orange. And then the red is very, very bright on my front money pieces type thing but at the bottom it's like very deep which i absolutely love and i think that is because of the pink that was originally there i don't know but it just looks so good and i love it so much and this is definitely my favorite color that i've done so far i'm gonna call my mom in a little bit and kind of show her before she goes to bed because she goes to bed really early and it's already 7:40. And I'm going to start my nails so you guys will see me doing my nails next. guys it is the next day officially my hair is officially a day old <laughs> and then i did finish my nails yesterday they look okay i think i'm and then i got i did red at the bottom i think i don't like them because they're black i don't know but i just can't seem to like enjoy i don't know i'm not used to wearing black on my nails on my hands i'm i normally when i was little i used to always do black on my feet and that was it but now i do more i'm more into like white on my nails i don't know i think it just stands out more on me i don't know but basically they're done and i have everything all set up and ready i just whitened my teeth again i'm making um rice pudding right now and because i was craving it and i and my milk is gonna go bad two days after i leave and i know my boyfriend's not gonna use it so i just i'm like yeah i'm just gonna use it so that's that and then i just i'm in, i fell in love with my hair you guys like it's amazing my boyfriend loved it too my sister loved it my mom loved it my dad loved it everyone loves it it's amazing but anyways basically i'm all done all i need to pack which i'm gonna do right now is all of my makeup stuff that i'm gonna be using Oh, over there and stuff i did film a transition tiktok for my hair but i'm not gonna finish it up until i am over there on my sister's 15 just because that day i am going to be doing my makeup and my hair and everything and i just don't want to do my makeup and my hair right now like I'm, I'm i'm done i'm tired i've been cleaning all day i was picking up all of my nail stuff because I had appointment after appointment and I just had everything out here. I would just like take everything off to wipe, wipe down the dust and then kind of set up my den my dentist bibs on the bottom so that I wouldn't like see through my, my table and everything. But everything is nice and put away now. I will start packing my makeup. So let's get on to it. <laughs> Baby, you give me ice and fire 
Alrighty guys, it is the next day. It's officially Thursday and right now it is 6 17 p.m My boyfriend's just finishing up washing my car. I already have everything Outside like all the bags and everything that I need to take is all outside and I'm just I'm gonna take my laptop my charger and my tripod along with the tripod that my camera is currently on uh, yeah, so we're gonna take that but that's gonna be until tomorrow morning just because I don't want that to stay in the car all night But basically we are all set up all done. We're all packed up. So this is gonna be the end of this video Bye. <laughs>